Are you ready to uncover the secrets of one of the most powerful password cracking tools in the world? Today, we're diving deep into John the Ripper, a tool that's reshaping the way we think about cybersecurity and password strength. Whether you're here to sharpen your skills as an ethical hacker or just curious about how passwords get cracked, this tutorial is going to blow your mind. So let's not waste any time and get straight into it. All right, first things first, what is John the Ripper? Well, John the Ripper is a fast, versatile, and widely used password cracking tool. It's open source, free, and is used by both ethical hackers and cybersecurity experts to test the strength of passwords. Now, before you jump to conclusions, let me emphasize this. Tools like John the Ripper are meant for legal and ethical purposes only. If you're using it, make sure it's for authorized security assessments. So why is John the Ripper so popular? For one, it's incredibly powerful. It can crack a variety of password hashes, including MD5, Shea, and more. Plus, it's compatible with multiple platforms like Windows, Linux, and MacOS. But beyond that, it's straightforward to use once you get the hang of it, making it a favorite among professionals and beginners alike. Let's start with the setup process. The first step is downloading John the Ripper. It is pre-installed in Kali Linux, but don't worry if it's not. Head over to the official OpenWall website, where you'll find the latest version of the tool. If you're on Windows, you'll need the Jumbo version, which has more features and supports additional hash formats. Once you've downloaded the appropriate version, extract the files and get ready to dive in. Now, before we jump into cracking passwords, let's talk about word lists. Word lists are an essential part of John the Ripper's functionality. They're basically text files containing potential passwords. Popular ones include the rockyou.txt file, which has millions of common passwords. You can find it online, but remember to use it responsibly. All right, let's move on to some hands-on action. Imagine you've been given a hashed password file to test. Type the following command as on the screen. What happens here is pure magic. John the Ripper will take each password from the word list, hash it, and compare it to the given hash. If there's a match, voila, the password is cracked. It's that simple. But wait, there's more. What if the password isn't in your word list? This is where John's Rules feature comes in. It allows you to customize and tweak passwords from the word list to generate more combinations. For example, if the original password is P at SSORD, John can test variations like P at SW0RD or P at 55 word. This feature significantly improves your chances of success. Let's also discuss brute force attacks. While not the fastest method, brute forcing is a technique where every possible combination of characters is tested until the password is cracked. To run a brute force attack with John, use the command John incremental slash path slash to slash your slash hash file. Now you might be wondering, isn't this super resource intensive? And the answer is yes. Brute force attacks can take a long time, especially for complex passwords. But John the Ripper is optimized to make this process as efficient as possible. Now let's talk about the advantages of John the Ripper. First and foremost, it's free and open source, which makes it accessible to everyone. Secondly, its speed is unmatched. Whether you're testing a simple MD5 hash or something more complex, John delivers impressive results. Lastly, it's versatile. From local password files to network password dumps, this tool can handle it all. That said, it's not without limitations. For instance, if you're dealing with extremely long or complex passwords, even John might struggle. Additionally, it's important to note that using John the Ripper legally and ethically is a must. Unauthorized use can lead to serious consequences. Before we wrap up, here's a pro tip. Pair John the Ripper with tools like Hashcat for even more power. While Hashcat is GPU-based and excels in cracking more complex passwords, John's CPU-based approach can be a great complement. So there you have it, a complete tutorial on John the Ripper. We've covered what it is, how to set it up, how to use word lists, and even how to run brute force attacks. Remember, the goal here is to understand how passwords can be cracked so that we can make them stronger and more secure. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Drop your questions or feedback in the comments below and let us know what topics you want us to cover next. Thanks for watching and as always, stay curious, stay ethical, and stay secure. See you in the next video.